I love food. Some of my best friends are food, but this is not food. Imagine coming downstairs one morning and finding this in your fridge door. You would not put this on your cornflakes. My milk has been deconstructed. Fortunately, I'm a bit of a science fan, so I can tell you this bottle contains nearly all the elements that make up milk. We have water, fat, we have vitamins and minerals, but for some reason we don't have that milky texture, that, that sheen, that cream colour. Why not? Well, that's why we're in the food lab today. I want to find out about the physics behind what makes milk, milk. And because I'm just a science fan, albeit a creepy, obsessive level of fan, I do have a real scientist here with me to help. Hello. So, since we know everything that makes up milk is in this bottle, surely we should just be able to give it a little mix with a... What's the word? What's it called when you, like, cut together a bunch of different moments? And voila! Still doesn't really look like milk, does it? No, that's, um, that looks like something completely different. But fortunately, I do have something a little more hardcore than my tiny little science nerd limbs. So let's try giving it a zhuzh. I'm just gonna pour this in here. All right, let's give it a whirl. I feel so brave right now. Uh, did it work? Well, it certainly smells interesting. No, it's not really settling into milk. It's certainly milkier, but it's got a lot of fat bubbles on the top. It's not really mixing. I think the issue we've got here is that... There's a missing ingredient. Is that there's a missing ingredient. My God, you're a mind reader. This is it. Protein. My favourite. I just whip it in. Yes, go ahead. Lovely. Yes, milk is made up of water, fat and protein. Now, we've added some protein. Let's see what happens. I'm a little bit frightened. I might come back to where you are. Hold me. Oh, look at that! That is actually beginning to look a lot more like milk. Oh, thank you very much. Always have a scientist handy. Oh yeah, look at that. That is beginning to look a lot more like milk. It has the right colour and the right consistency. And we don't normally have to worry about the science of milk because cows do all the work for us. Cows are amazing. And beautiful. No. So, since cows can't actually explain what's happening in them... What the blender and the cow both do for us is make an emulsion. An emulsion is a mixture of two liquids that would not naturally mix, with one liquid suspended as small droplets inside the other. Because the liquids don't mix, we need something to help. This is where the protein comes in. The milk protein has two parts. One really likes to be in oil, the other one feels much better in water. This protein is really happy to be in between the oil and water, so it will attach to what we call the interface. The protein forms a protective cushion around the fat droplets and stops them bursting when they touch each other. It's also these fat droplets which make the milk look white. The light can't get through because the fat droplets get in the way, so the light scatters off in ah. different directions. And in the shop, they mix it up even more to make the big fat droplets even smaller which makes it more stable and palatable. That's called homogenized milk. Mm -hmm. Some other examples of emulsions are salad dressing and mayonnaise. Mm. They sound fine, but none quite as cool an emulsion as milk, or the funky milk moustache you get when you drink it straight from the beaker. Oh yeah, I'm so glad the script said to do that. So that is what makes milk, milk. It is an emulsion made for us by cows, which is nice of them.